Some of you, you win souls. But why are you not getting results? I'll tell you. Number one, the state of your heart. The state of what? Anything you are doing, God looks at the state of your heart. Are you doing it with the right motive? You know, you can win somebody because you want to marry the person. I will not see people convert people and they marry them. The state of your heart. It's Amazia did that which is right, but not with a perfect heart. Second Chronicles 25, verse 2. So you can be winning somebody with a wrong motive. If I win this man, I seen rich so I go chop your money. Their motive. If I win this girl, I go marry her. If I win this young man, I will tell him to marry me. The motive is wrong. So what? Let it be love motivated. Let it be what? Not the wrong reasons for it. Whatever you're doing in the kingdom should be done with love. First Corinthians 13 verse 3. For do I bestow all my goods to feed the poor and I, and do I give my body to be born and I have no charity, I have no love, it profited me nothing. So let the reason you are doing, because you love God, because you do what? Love God. The people I led to Christ yesterday, none of them will I get anything from. I'm the one who goes to spend for them. All of them, I will spend for them. I said, come to Bible school, I'll buy your clothes, I'll change your clothes, I'll do everything. And they were very happy. That's why God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Because you need this to, to win souls. But don't, first win the souls first. First win the souls first. God will know how to provide for you. Is that clear? Win the source first. Number two. It must be sacrificial. It must be what? So winning must be sacrificial if you want a reward. Uh, Romans 12 verse 1. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body as a living what? Holy acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So if you want to be rewarded, you have to inconvenience yourself. You have to do what? You know what God is saying? Yesterday, I was preparing for service. I was physically tired. I had to even sleep. But I knew I have an assignment to win what? Now, anything that is not sacrificial can never be beneficial. You don't do things as convenient. You do them as what? Come on. Around five, I had to get up. My body was telling me sleep. I said, No! I have a covenant with God to win five souls. So I showered and went to the back. It was not confident. Even when I was talking, physically I knew that I was tired. But that is, anything you do as confident has no reward, has no worth. In the kingdom, now listen, God Almighty came here as a sacrifice, true? Was it confident for him? No, Jesus, no, it was not confident. The mighty God came from his throne, came to our level. Is that, is that covenant? You remember he has a throne in heaven. He left his throne in heaven to be born in a manger, lived with us, died in a very shameful way. True? True? Anything you are doing in the kingdom that does not cost you anything can never be rewarded. Is it covenant? And one preaching, and one who goes for the sowing souls. <laughs> are you going to upset out? Is that covenant? No, but that's when you'll be rewarded. And if it does not inconvenience you, forget it. This kingdom, whatever will bring you the word, was what? What's coming? This is when you, you, your body must be used. Not like, hey, somebody should go and win souls. No, you have to go out and win. Hey, is that true? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Well, some of you, you know, my, my paperless leg will not touch ground. No, some of you is paper, paperless. You know what? You know, this is my, my, my leg. If I trek to win soul, the toenails will go off. Which toenails? So I don't like hot sun to touch my skin. Oh, you both pepper. <laughs> <laughs> if sun touch this my skin, I, I will be sweating. So that's why I would have gone. But you know, I don't like sun touching my, my skin. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus who came down, sun touch your skin. You, uh, you, will I have nothing. Sun will not touch your skin. My friend, let sun touch your what? Then God will bless you. He will make sure your skin does not have sickness. We don't believe in the covenant. People don't want to covenant. 
They say, yeah, they want to be blessed. It's not like that. You must be sacrificial before it can be beneficial. The reason why many people are not blessed is because, you know what? Sacrificial. Number three, do it with kingdom-mindedness. Do it with what? Be kingdom-minded. Be kingdom It's that you are doing this thing because of his kingdom. Because of his... Not because your pastor is going to see you. Not because somebody will tell you thank you. But because of the kingdom of God. Then you'll be rewarded. Be kingdom what? Minded. You are doing it not for eye service. You are doing it because of the kingdom of God. So here. Are you getting upset now? Most people do it. Now. Anytime we say go for evangelism and say, today, if you don't call, you'll be punished. You see crowd. So you don't know why you're doing it. If you don't do it, you will not officiate. No, it shouldn't be so. You are doing it because you know that's what God wants you to do. If you see anytime, you say, if you don't do it, you will not officiate. You see everybody. They will come out. But just say, let's say, come out, come out, so we need. So there can't be reward because you don't know why you are doing it. Do it because of the kingdom of God, Matthew 6 and 3. 